would what would we question? expect that type of performance with uh, with your dancers and then you also being able to bend the, uh, dance the same way? So, <laughs> <laughs> so I've been asked this question before, and I'm gonna say this. You know, you know, you know, <laughs> back in the day, you know what I'm saying. You know, we was able to drop things like they was hot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now you might let it down like it's warm. <laughs> That's my saying, you know what I'm saying? And I think I got that from a Tyler Perry show. I, I can't remember, but, you know, or something. But nevertheless, when people ask me that, I tell them, you know, you're still going to get, you know, Gina. Um, but let's 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 just keep it real. I'm I'm, I'm not <laughs> not dropping nothing, you know. But if I get down, I, I I'm hoping I get back up. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not that bad. It's it's really not that bad. Um, I just you know what, get on a stage and just mm. just let the music move me, you know. Um, and again, you know, as we as like I said, as you as we get older, you see a lot of these artists, pretty much in my age bracket. Usually they have their dancers do that and they may step in here and there. And of course, yeah. I, I, of course, I'm going to do a few of those things. But I want to I want to focus more on, on on the singing aspect and engaging more with my crowd and things along those lines versus trying to, you know, remember every every step, <laughs> and, you know, all that. That's yeah. that's, that's a Mariah <laughs> Carey, Ka Mariah Carey, because Mariah doesn't 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 shy away that look. Yeah, you know, I'm not into the dancing. I've got my I'm dance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, so Johnny yeah. Gill as well. Like, man, I have to dance, friends. You know, <laughs> he, yeah, so yeah. he's he stays at the end because you know it's Ronnie, <laughs> uh, Mickey, uh, uh, Ricky, and Mike that are uh, and Ralph that are dancers, and Johnny's like, okay, and now with Bobby. So yeah, it, yeah, it makes sense. I guess it's um, it, it's it's um, and it depends on the on the tracks because I know you things you do is is a party track, and so having the dancers getting in and 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 and. And doing the routine and stuff, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. even in that, um, even on, on on Team Summit, you know, they the the girls were doing the main work while mm -hmm. you were singing, and you yeah. came in, you know, towards the when it, you know, during the breakdown, but they were still dancing throughout. <laughs> but it felt as if they were. It, what I liked about that performance is as if they were part of the group because they it, they were dancing, but it looked as if they were singing along. Singing, song. yes, and that's how I like it. That's exactly how I like it. Like. If, even if you're lip singing, I like the whole aspect, ex especially when there's the two. That was a whole thing. Like they're dancers and, and both the girls could actually really sing. Um, but they, you know, they're dancers, but they're also like my background singers, you know. So I know exactly what you're talking about. That That's a really, really good look. And and there are artists that do do that quite a bit, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, as I said, but as I said, the fact that you said you want to focus on the vocals and that's that's going to be key because the audience, when you do start moving into, say, the the wineries and I don't know if they have the jazz cafes, any, uh, the House of Blues, are they still around? House yeah. 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 Okay. I believe um, House of Blues. Which one? Oh, that's I'm thinking of the Laugh House. I'm sorry. Don't quote me on that. I definitely know city wineries for sure. But yeah, the city house wineries. of blues is the house of blues in Atlantic City. They used to have them in when I lived in. They had them in Chicago, but, but um, mm -hmm. but I've no. I, nowadays, I don't hear anyone going to them. I only hear them go okay. to city wineries or Yoshi's yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. and those types of venues. Mm -hmm. um, but in those types of venues, having yeah, having some having dances, but focusing on the singing because we mm -hmm. do see someone like Shante Moore. Um, at city wineries and it's, it's really just sitting singing um or freddie jackson or um or or, or, or even christopher williams it, and it's really they're focusing on their vocals and the audience doesn't seem to mind the dancing as much but it's really the, the vocal so it, uh -huh. it would be really interesting just to see you know um seeing you back in but i'm sure the label has things you know because i remember i talked about social media and stuff and then you started to do the sort of your jogging and then you just come back and record. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got to get back to that. <laughs> I was really on a mission at that time. It, it's just, it's man, it's, I will say it's, it's, it's not easy, but it definitely still, it's conquerable, you know, uh, physical health, mental health is so important. It really, really is. But yeah, you're right. I, I was, I was doing that. <laughs> yeah, no, but it, I think the interesting point is the, the hard thing about being on your side of the of the aisle is the fact that okay, um, 
out of sight, out of mind. So then social media becomes where everyone's like, oh, okay, Gina's back. And what 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 she what's she posting? What's she doing? And then it that that you know promoters sometimes see what's going on and stuff. So it's you know it's it's a it's a lot of you know I I post on 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 Instagram mainly so mm-hmm. I can get more people to interview so they can see oh he yeah. interviewed him and yeah. this person. But it's a it's 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 not an it's it's a way of just trying to show that you're still relevant and it's it's a yeah. lot of work when you don't have a machine of a label behind you. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, you've got a label, but when you don't have a massive PR stuff, having to do all these sort of things to still show that okay, I'm out there and I'm mm-hmm. we're doing music and I'm still singing and stuff. And I'm hoping and I'm wondering is if, uh, are we going to see? I know you posted stuff with the the photo shoot. Um, mm-hmm. With with which um, of Left, uh, leftovers. the leftovers, yes. So um, you 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 did stuff like that, and then you've and and I did see um where you 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 performed at one or two venues as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, do we are we going to be see more of, of that, or maybe back uh, yeah. behind the scenes of Gina rehearsing with a band, singing your songs, so we can like get snippets of the of the songs and just. Yeah, absolutely. So um, with that being said, I had, uh, as far as the video shoot for the uh, Infanity remix of the things you do with the leftovers featuring me, Mm -hmm. um, there was a behind the scenes where, you know, we were, we shot a little bit and, you know, had some fun doing that. And so the answer to your question is absolutely. That is, that is the plan, especially once this single does actually drop, you know, of course, I'm sure that, you know, we're going to be again, going to do, um, go on the road and do more things. Um, and I, I'm looking, I'm telling you this, it's it's going to be a busy summer. <laughs> I really believe it's going to be a busy summer. Like I said, right now, we're just ironing some kinks out. Um, we wanted the single, the single is it's on Infanity, the NFT, but I wanted, um, we all was wanted it to be out the end of the month uh, for March, but there's a few things that, it's a little pitfalls that we have to, you know, kind of maneuver around and and sometimes it happens you mm. know um so um it will be out soon that's what we do know and as well as other platforms like your spotify amazon apple we're working on that as well so just telling my fans don't give up it's still we're still working on it it's still coming um just ironing a couple of things out right now and it's better to be safe than sorry so we want to make sure that we are doing things correctly and we're catching and it's a good thing that we caught some of the things that we caught you know because it could have been you know it it could have been not the best thing <laughs> yeah. so yeah hey, can you tell us about the song i mean who wrote it what's have a uh, what's the song about and stuff Okay, so the things you do, let me start with that because I did mention earlier how the concept is different. So uh, is that okay with you? Yeah, yeah, you can do both songs. Yeah, the things we do uh, with with leftovers and then your your new single. (laughs) Awesome. Okay, so with the things you do, the concept was brought to me by uh, DJ Leak. And he was like, you know, the the, the title of the song in general, the things you do, um, it's something that we can say to anybody, right? Oh my gosh, Mm. it's the the things that you do or it's what you did or whatever the case may be. It doesn't even necessarily have to mean like in my original, the things you do, we're talking, I'm talking about this man that I love him and it's the things that he does that makes me keep running to him. Well, the concept for the remix and Fanity remix, uh, DJ Leak brought it to my attention. He was like, gee, he was like, what do you think of um, a concept where there's this young guy that's always in the streets and he's always, you know, he's selling drugs, he's doing whatever. And his mother, she never gives up on him. You know, she never, ever gives up on him. And so many times she's told him and talked to him about, if you keep doing this, this is going to happen. If you keep doing this, this is going to happen. And he's starting to see that the things that his mother has shared with him, mm-hmm. she's right. And it's always like everything that she does and the things that she says, he seems to come back to her and, you know, gets this advice from her and he just keeps coming back to her and she never turns her back on him. She's always there. She loves him. Even when he was in jail, she loved him. She just never gave up on him. So he's like, you know what, mom, it's the things that you do that makes me keep coming to you. And I appreciate you for not giving up on me. I love you, you know, boom, boom, boom. And and and, and that's kind of like the concept. So I, 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 I thought about it for a minute and I was like, you know what, that's, that's dope because a lot of that is happening or has happened. So this is like a mother anthem, uh, an anthem for mothers, if you will, mm. you know, 
Um, so mom, it's the things that you do. And, you know, when, 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 when he was out in this, out in these streets, you know, she never gave up on him. You know, she kept on believing in, in him and praying for him, just not giving up. And so because of that continuous love, you know, eventually he's just like, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change this around and get myself together. So it's it was phenomenal. And the video shoot was, it was so fun. Mm -hmm. um, kids were able, two of my kids, I was hoping for my oldest son, he, he wasn't able to make it, but my two younger kids are in the video. Okay. So that was so fun, such a great experience for them. So, yep. So that's the concept of that song. And that that video's done. Again, the single's done. That's what's going to be coming out, you know, or is out on Infinity's um, a site, okay. the collectible that is. Now, and as far as... Um, oh, no, but it's when you... That's, that concept reminds me of the whiners, Don't Leave Me. Uh, um, You said the whinings? The whiners. The whiners. Okay. Um, they had a song on the uh, the Return album called Don't Leave Me. It was produced okay. by Teddy Riley. Um, nice. But it, it, it was about, you know, you know, the songs, don't, you know, it was about all the things that they were told by their parents, you know, don't, you know, don't touch the stove. It's hot. So you're going to get burned. Yeah. Uh, but they didn't scone them. And and um, and I can just hear Marvin singing. As you were saying that, all I remember was "Don't Leave Me" and, and stuff, and and it um it was a powerful track. So it is it'll be it'll be really interesting to see and hear the full track to see how yeah. how people might connect to 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 that. But anyway, yeah, 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 absolutely, and 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 in more ways than one. It doesn't even have to be the person was out there in the streets. It could be a young girl, or whatever you know. You know, she she went out and rebel was rebellious rebellious, and then she just decided to you know, come back because her mom was telling her this. It can it, it can go in so many ways. But the, the idea is, you know, the, the mother just never gave up and just was mm. always there, supported and just prayed and just was just never gave up. And that meant so much to him, you know. So, I mean, like I said, that concept can go, you know, in, in a few ways. Yeah. Now, as far as the other single, it's called Starving. We're, we're working on, um, eventually we'll be shooting a video for that. Uh, right now we're 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 trying to pick our um the the, the male act <laughs> in the video. <laughs> so okay. um the ladies is Denzel, that I not, is Denzel not available? <laughs> no, nor, nor is Idris Alba. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um so um yeah, so I know that I got the last that I heard that they were auditioning for that part. Um, so I'm sure I'll be hearing more, you know, in time, but that song starving, um, I, I'm so sorry. I can't remember everybody's name that was on there, but it was a compilation. It was a, it was a few people rather that actually wrote on this album. Um, DJ Leak brought it to my attention. It was right on Valentine's day at that <laughs> he was like, happy Valentine's day. I was like, Oh goodness. So when I heard it, I was like, yes, I loved it. I thought it was different. And I actually like the fact that it's relevant to today, like the, the, the sound of it. So this mm. title starving and it's simply still a love song, you know, um, uh, I'm starving for your love. But just the way that it's uh, uh, worded and the the melodic feel of it and it's it's different, but it's but it's still in the pocket. So at first I was a little uh, intimidated. I was like, oh, wait, I don't know, because it's a little bit different, but it was a little challenging for me, but it was a good push. And all I can say is I went in there. I, I learned it on the on, really on the way up to the studio. <laughs> <laughs> on the way up to the studio. So what happened was when I got there, I told Leek, I said, I, I pretty much just learned the song. Okay. So anyway, I recorded it. And in that day, like within like five hours, and they loved it. You know, artists, we're usually our worst critic. I was like, okay, you guys love it. You know, but um, for the most part, they they loved it. It's been mastered. So uh, right now, like I said, we're pretty much just waiting to shoot the video. Um, and prayerfully, like I said earlier, um, that's due to be released around May, beginning of June, somewhere around there. Wow. Hopefully, hopefully. But again, we are know that it's coming out. We're just <laughs> trying to solidify, solidify dates. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of the Half Time Chat community. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, but most importantly, why don't you consider being a member as a way of supporting the channel, but also getting a lot of videos ahead of time, a lot of behind the scenes stuff, and some exclusive content that doesn't get shared.
But anyway, thanks for watching and thanks for being part of Halftime Chat.